All right, you guys. How many of you have said this? How many of you have said, I don't like what I see when I look in the mirror? I look in the mirror and I get really frustrated with myself. I look in the mirror and all I see is the things that are wrong with my body. All I see is where things went wrong. All I see is the scars from C-sections or the stretch marks from having babies or the evidence that uh, whatever I'm doing nutrition-wise or health-wise isn't really working for me. Mm -hmm. That's all I see. That's all I see. And it's really easy to just constantly tear your system down when you're looking in a mirror with that type of mindset. It's really, really easy to do. And of course, for ourselves, what we're going to do when we look at our own bodies is when we get the worst angle straight down, <laughs> right? But looking in the mirror, I mean, you're, you're not going to see the changes like somebody else's. How many times have you done this before where you're like, oh my gosh, I started on this nutrition plan. I started working out and nothing was really changing. And so-and-so said something was different. Um, super funny story. There was a gal, she was, uh, we'd been working together for oh, maybe six or seven weeks at this point. And she was like, nothing's changing. Like absolutely nothing is changing physically. I feel better. I've got more energy. Like, woo, great. But I got to see something change. I need to stay motivated. I'm feeling kind of lost. And I said, I totally understand. But has anybody else said anything to you? And she's like, well, now that you mention it, yeah, my boyfriend said something that I look like I'm, you know, but I think he's just trying to encourage me and keep me going because he knows I'm working so hard at this. And yeah, this other person at work did say something too about how I look like I'm slimming down in my face or something. And then um, she sent me an email like three days later and she goes, okay, I get it now. I totally, I know what you're talking about. I just had somebody at the yoga studio. She goes, this gal was all the way across the yoga studio and was like shouting, hey, what are you doing? You look amazing. And she was like, okay, all these people can't be pulling my leg, right? There's got to be something to this. And I was like, there is, there is, but you're not going to see it with yourself. Why is that? Right? We've all been there, right? Why are you not going to just see it with yourself? Because when you look at your own body, you're going to pick out the absolute worst things. That's what just catches your eye, right? And a lot of times this has to do with past shames that we've had, right? Maybe growing up, you had kids tease you in school poke you, you know, say something. Maybe when you were growing up in your household, whoever was serving your meal gave you less food than a sibling because you didn't need that much to eat, yet you were hungry. Maybe there were things said about your physical body as you were growing up. This implants shame, right? And so as you try and work through these things as an adult, if you are not aware of this, you're going to run in circles again and again and again and again and not get anywhere with it and feel like you're a failure all over again every single time. So realize that when your physical body changes and you're actually working with your system, which is which are things that we do when we work together in a one-on-one -on -one setting. So I'm gonna put a link here in the comments. If you um, have not seen you know, this, this program, uh, we do a lot of hormone testing, GI mapping, genetic testing, everything else, a lot of extensive work, figure out exactly where your system is at and then really target the things that your system needs. But moreover than that, moreover than that, what we look at is where your brain sort of tricks you into thinking that you're actually not making any success or progress when you really are. And it's stuff like this. Oh, I'm really not. Nope, I've still got this roll in my belly. It's not changing, blah, blah, blah. Oh, no, nope, I'm still a failure. Okay, well, when you were growing up, was that what was in, you know said to you? Did you have people point this out? Were you teased in gym class, right? These things will make a difference because what happens is that you have shame around this. So the first thing to do here is identify where you have that shame. Identify where that comes from. These are things that we talk about when we work together. It is not enough to just say, here's a meal guide, go. Oh, eat these things, check off this box. Oh, if you eat chicken and broccoli every day for lunch, you're gonna have the most amazing rock and bod ever. Woo, yeah. No, <laughs> no, because it doesn't feel like that. And even if you do push your system to lose weight, it's so funny, I was talking to somebody today and we were talking about, you know, because we're at the end of the year, we were talking about some of these things and she was like, 
I feel so much better and I'm amazed at this. I would love to see this different physical response still, blah, blah, blah. I was like, I totally understand. I was like, let me ask you something. Last year at this time, last year at this time, where were you at? And she goes, well, I weighed less. I weighed 15 pounds less, but I was miserable. I felt awful. I felt like a pile of garbage and I was so snippy and exhausted and just on edge that I would scream at my kids and yell at my husband all the time. And I was not a pleasant person to be around. And she's like, I feel better. I know this weight loss progress is slow, but I feel so much better. And I was like, that is so incredible. That is so incredible, right? Because as you're working through these things, realize that your physical body has an impact on, on your emotional state and how you move through things because of shame. So when you're looking at this, realize where does this come from? Identify where this came from, when it started for you, right? Because this is important because what if this is something that your system has been responding to since you were like seven years old? Yeah, you can be physically hanging on to that stuff for that long. Uh huh. Yeah, if you were seven years old, and at family dinners or something, whoever was dishing up the plates gave you half the amount of food as all the other kids at the table and then told you you could only have a tiny amount of dessert, if any, because did you really need it? Look at your belly. Mm, looks like you've had enough to eat today, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Awful. Awful, right? But that can be implanted here in your brain so that every time you don't see a physical result happen, right? I don't like what I see that shame trigger starts, right? And it's important to identify where and when this started from them. And then you can start working through it without even recognizing that this is something connected to the past. You're sort of like just shooting in the dark. Start with where it started for you, right? And again, these are things that we dive into together because you are so much more than just your physical body. You are so much more than just your physical body. Your physical body, you live in your physical body. You live in this meat suit that you run around in and it, and it carries you through your life. You got to take care of your meat suit <laughs> because if it gets exhausted or run down or nutrient depleted or your hormones are off or any of these things, right? It's not going to help support you. It's not going to help support you. So that's why it's important to take care of your physical body, but realize that you are not just your physical body. You are not just how you look and how you feel and how you function is the foundation of your overall health. That is really, really important. And the last thing I want to talk about here is being hard on yourself because it's so easy to tear yourself down. It's so easy to look at yourself in the mirror and say, oh God, look at you. You did it again. What is wrong with you? Why can't you stick with something? Look at you, you still have this role here. You're never gonna get rid of it. And being hard on yourself, tearing yourself down. Well, I gotta tell you this. If being hard on yourself worked, it would have worked by now. It would have worked by now. It doesn't work. So what we focus on, right, and what we dive into when we work together is not just, oh, eat these things. Do this exercise. Rump, rump, rump. It's recognizing where your brain, right, because your neurology, right, where your, your neurons are wired together and where that's taken you in the past. And is that where you want to go again? Or do you want to create some new neural programming with some new neural connections there that help support your physical body and take you in a direction where you not only feel better, function better, but you actually get to keep positive results from there? That's the biggest thing. Because it's not just about following a list and it's not about just being harder on yourself. That doesn't win. That doesn't let you win. Yes. I would love to know in the comments. I do check the comments. I read your comments. I read everything that you guys mark down here because this is hard stuff. So I would love if you're open to sharing, you know, how many times you've been hard on yourself, how many times you've been let down, or if you realize, oh my gosh, this thing that I detest about my body, my legs comes from my first boyfriend and he said something about my big legs and I'm still carrying this around, right? I say this because these are things that women realize when we work together. I would love, love, love to hear some light bulbs that you have listening to this and going through this and then realizing that it's not about being harder on yourself. It's about working with your body. Yeah. So 
So other resources I have for you, again, talking about working with your body, my book, The Female Fat Solution, is all about nutrition that matches your hormones and your cycle, Female Menopause Solution, all about your body and perimenopause and menopause. Um, and then I have my YouTube channel, which is Dr. Beth Wesley. Like, subscribe, share these videos. Please, if you have had a discussion recently with somebody and you're like, oh my gosh, this is exactly what we were talking about, share this with them. They need to hear this message too. They, you, they need to know that they are not alone in how they feel. You are not crazy. These are things. And there are a lot of women who feel this way. And if you want to take steps forward to start working on it, that's where you click the link in the comments below. I also have my tinctures for hormones and cycle, uh, one's for estrogen, one's for progesterone to help your system maintain and balance everything. And then my podcast is called The Female Health Solution, where you can subscribe to stay updated on all the podcasts. And I've got some amazing episodes coming out, so make sure you stay tuned for those. All right, that's what I got for you guys tonight. Let me know if you need anything else. Otherwise, I'll see you later.